I recently met a few otters. Have a look at this. Otters. These fascinating furry mammals were on the edge of extinction only 50 years ago, but thankfully they're making a comeback to our waterways. I've come here to the banks of the River Taw in Devon to find out how exactly otter numbers are on the rise. And for that, I'm going to be meeting up with Megan McCubbin. Megan is a zoologist, environmentalist, and animal conservation fanatic. She's recently appeared on CBBC's Planet Defenders as well as Autumn Watch and Winter Watch. Oh, and she's also loved otters since she was a kid, which is helpful. Megan, hello. hello. One question, why did you want me to meet you out here? Well, this is a really special place, a great habitat for seeing otters in the wild. They're doing pretty well here, so if there's anywhere to look, it's right here. Okay, uh, well, so far I haven't been able to spot one. Any ideas? They're pretty secretive, they're quite shy, and when it comes to looking for any kinds of wildlife, you don't always want to look for the animal itself. Sometimes you want to look for the evidence that it leaves behind, so uh, I suggest we go looking. Well, the first thing you want to look out for is paw prints and even tail drag marks along the riverbank. Then secondly, you might want to find their burrow, something called a hulk, which they live in. Uh, and then, of course, sprint as well. Sprint? Yeah, it's essentially otter poo and they use it to mark their territory. Ah, so that's what the smell was. No, can't smell anything. OK, let the otter search begin. Oh, Megan, I think I found something. Adam, that's a camera. I haven't found one otter. What's going on? No, I haven't seen any either, but that's what happens with wildlife. Sometimes they're hard to find, and otters are especially. But close by, there is a place that I know of where we will definitely see some otters. Why didn't you say that before? I don't know. Should we go and take a look? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> In fact, it just so happens that Megan is an ambassador for the Wild Otter Trust here in Devon. It's a sanctuary for the rehabilitation of orphaned and injured otters where they look after otters of all ages and release healthy ones back into the wild. So why is it so important to look after otters? Otters are a really important species. They're something called an indicator species. When otters are in freshwater environments, you know that that freshwater ecosystem is healthy. You know, there's loads of fish in there that they're eating. And we need to protect our freshwater ecosystems. So to have otters, to have rivers and ponds and everything that's thriving is really important. Who do we have here then? So in this rehabilitation pen is a male otter called Scar. He's called Scar because he's got a little scratch on the top of his nose. He was found about a week ago walking around in Cornwall. Where is Scar at the moment? Is he in? So he's in his halt here, which is often where they go to sleep during the day. Uh -huh. um, but in the corner, we've got a little escape artist on our hands. Wow. <laughs> because you can see how he's been digging and gnawing at the wood there. That was just by Scar? By Scar, yeah, this week. So once an otter is rescued and they're brought to this enclosure, what sort of things do you guys do? So the first thing is to give them the once over, make sure that they're nice and healthy, that there's no injuries going on. Weigh them as well, because of course they want to be nice and fit, so know how much food they need to be given. And then of course you don't want to be too involved in their process because right. they don't want to become used to humans. Right. We want them to go back as a wild animal. So have you seen an otter before? Not in real life. I think we should go and take a sneak peek. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> Oh, he's so amazing. He's incredible, isn't he? Oh, he looks so warm and comfortable. Isn't he? Really nice and snug. Well, I think we should leave him be, but there are actually two otters that are ready for release today, which is really exciting. Dave is the founder of the Wild Otter Trust. He and the team have been caring for Tom and Isla since they were rescued nine months ago, and they're finally ready to be released back into the wild. The pair have been safely contained in their holt, so it's time to take them to the release site. We want to keep this process as quiet as possible for minimum disturbance for the otters. But there is a really important special job for you if you'd like to do it. Really? Yeah. What is it? Would you like to release the otters, pull up the hatch? Yes. Yeah? OK, well, I have one job. I better not mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> the team carefully unload the otters and prepare the hold for the release. Tom and Isla are being released on the banks of a local river here, which is the perfect place for them to make their new home. I'm no otter, but this looks like a lovely spot. It is, isn't it? You've got fast moving water, that bank there, perfect otter habitat. So all that's left really to do is to release. Moment of truth. You ready? 
I don't know if I am. <laughs> All you have to do is lift up the hatch, take a step back, and we'll hopefully watch them come out. OK. Tom, Isla, good luck. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, Tom and Isla. <laughs> the time has finally come for Tom and Isla to start their new lives in the wild. Or maybe later? They don't want to come out. They want to lie in bed. I feel like they're tucked in there for a little bit longer, perhaps, and with the sun coming down, it might be a job for our remote cameras to pick up when they're ready to leave. Bye, guys. Good luck, guys. Bye. And sure enough, later that night, Tom and Isla pluck up the courage to venture out of their halt and back into the wild. And there you have it, the otter managed to come out. An Adorable. vision camera, how cool is that? Very. And there's also an otter quiz on the BP website if you want to have a go on that. Hey guys, it's Adam. Make sure you subscribe to the Blue Peter channel, like this video, check out our playlists, and if you want to watch more Blue Peter content, then head over to the BBC iPlayer.